What's up everyone? I wanted to hop on here today to talk to you about how to be successful at video marketing even if you're an introvert. Okay, so here's the thing. I feel like most people assume that only extroverts like to be on camera, and that if you're an introvert, you can't be on camera. So first of all, let's just debunk the myth here. That's a bunch of garbage because I actually have met more introverts that are super successful on camera than the other way around, right? And the moment I was able to really change that mindset with my introverted clients about showing up on camera, they were really able to be in front of the camera with a lot of ease, okay? So for those of you guys that are introverts and feel like you can't be on camera, I'm gonna show you guys how you can. Okay, and here's the thing, one more point, is that I actually consider myself to be an ambivert, and to be quite honest, it wasn't easy getting in front of the camera in the beginning. I don't think it is easy for anybody. The short answer is to really just stay committed and keep showing up regardless of how you look. It doesn't have to be perfect the very first few times. Or, you know, you know, why don't we just jump right in and share with me, I can share with you guys several tips to become successful in video marketing, even if you're an introvert. But let me get straight to it. Here are a few tips, like I said, for those of you who feel like you can't be on camera because you're an introvert, but secretly deep down you, either want or you know you need to incorporate more videos into your marketing, especially if you are a coach or a consultant or you just have your own business and you want to be on video. So tip number one is to tap into your passion. So the truth is, if you're not passionate about what you're talking about, there is no way in heck or in hell you're going to be able to show up confidently and let alone talk about what it is that you're talking about, right? The easiest way I believe for introverts to be successful in video marketing is to first commit to talking about something that you are truly, truly passionate about. For example, I love marketing, feng shui, spirituality, and mindset. Those are the things that I can find myself talking about all the freaking time. And it comes really naturally to me, right? It, and it comes with ease. I think that's the right word to use is ease. Like I don't have to force myself to talk about what I'm talking about, okay? And tapping isn't, you know, into your passion doesn't necessarily make you extroverted, right? It helps you become more comfortable talking about what you are talking about. You know, find your passion. If you aren't passionate about what you are currently doing, then it won't show through in your videos. Tip number two, tap into your alter ego. Yep. Okay, so a lot of people nowadays give this advice of acting as if. And first of all, I love it. And some of you guys may still struggle with this because I know that I, myself, and my clients also struggled with this concept. Like, how can I act as if I don't, like, how can I act as if if I don't even know what it's like to act as if, right? And I actually recommend another approach, and that is tapping into your alter ego. So Beyonce had Sasha Fierce, and Superman had Clark Kent. And from what I researched, a lot of high-performing leaders and entrepreneurs actually have an alter ego that they tap into every time they want to perform at the next level, right? So here's what you can do to actually tap into your alter ego or you know find your alter ego. First of all, you first need to know who your alter ego is, right? Like you, if you don't know who it is, then I really suggest you to sit down, come up with a name and a backstory for this alter ego, okay? Second thing is to pick an emblem, 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 emblem or an object that, or whatever you choose to like touch or use that activates this alter ego. Okay, so that way you can really commit to being this alter ego every time you touch whatever it is that you put on, let's say glasses or like your necklace. And let's say you're an introvert and you really, really wanna be, you know, good in front of the camera and be successful at video marketing. 
all you have to do is tap into the extroverted alter ego that you created for yourself, right? So take a moment to, to pause the video and, and think of who that is. All right, third tip is actually using a teleprompter and pretending that there's a friend behind your camera. So eventually you can dive into the deep end and just kind of talk in front of the camera like I am without using a teleprompter. But perhaps in order to ease yourself into it, um, what you can do is use a teleprompter. So I heard that for introverts, you know, you guys really thrive on like systems and structures. So a good advantage is actually using this to shoot your videos. For instance, right, always use a teleprompter if you can. Schedule your shoots for the same time every week and follow the similar format for each video, whatever helps you feel like you're in a rhythm or you're like in your video creation process. And again, you don't have to be an introvert. This is just what I've heard. And instead of feeling like you're speaking to a crowd, you're really just talking to one person. You're just talking to like Sally or like Molly, right? So the more you do it, the better you'll feel. You'll get better at it, right? Pushing yourself to be on camera may actually feel um, like it's second nature. So I just wanna end with this and say that hopefully these tips were helpful for you. Like I said, I'm gonna quickly recap. Number one is to be passionate about what the heck you're talking about, right? First of all, I would just say like, if you're not starting a business out of something that you enjoy, then don't even start the business, right? Don't do it for the money because the money will follow after the passion. I can guarantee that, okay? If you're just doing it for the money, you're not gonna enjoy doing it. You might as well just stick to your job. Um, second thing is to tap into your alter ego, okay? So um, for me, in the very beginning, when I was still kind of navigating through this alter ego space, I would use crystals, right? So every time I like touched um, my rose quartz or like a crystal, I would tap into this other version of me. So back in the day, people used to call me K10. So I would tap into this cool K10, like who is she? Like this is K10. Um, and I would just become this person. So again, alter ego is not like, it's not a false version of you. It's a higher version of you. It's a version of you that you are afraid to tap into normally because you don't believe that you are that person. But really you are, because if you weren't, then how can you be that person? How can you act like that person, right? Hopefully that wasn't too trippy. Um, but tap into your alter ego, find something that you can tap into, right? So again, I used a crystal, you can use glasses, um, right here, you can use glasses. These are my blue light blockers. Um, but every time that you like put on those glasses, for example, you transform into this different person, um, or every time you like tap your watch, or every time you touch that crystal, like I did, the point is, find an alter ego. Third thing is, um, what did I say? What was my third thing? What was my third thing? Oh, third thing is to use a teleprompter. How did I forget that? So I use a teleprompter app called Big View. So I no longer use that anymore, but in the very beginning I would use it because, and sometimes I still use it. Let's just say I'm creating a course for my clients um, or for my audience. And like, it's just, too much, sometimes I do use it. So big view, you can download the app. I will put it in the show notes, um, but you can definitely just use a teleprompter on your phone and be able to, to kind of play with that and see how that goes for you, okay? And again, remember that you're just talking to one person. You're not talking to the masses. You're talking to one person, whether that's your ideal client, whether that's your BFF, that would be so much easier than having this huge pressure on yourself, okay? So hopefully these three tips works for you. If you can just let me know in the comments below what you thought of today's video, and if you want more of these types of videos, let me know, tell me like, what do you wanna see? What do you wanna learn? I'd love to make them for you. All right, I hope you have a wonderful day, and make sure to subscribe to this video um, to get more of these tips.